recipes recipes is one of those things that years from now it'll be how did we live without this how did how did yeah. how do you even operate how, how did you have enough time to do anything recipes is just it it, it takes all the work out of it you just <laughs> you just you, you 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 know what you want you know how you want it and then everything has to obey you Hi, and welcome to the Event Lighting Channel. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tue Knudsen, and uh, I live in Denmark, in uh, Scandinavia, in Europe. Uh, I've been talking about Show Me Your Workflow for quite a while. Um, I've been uh, trying to invite a, a lot of different people into uh, my channel to uh, interview them about how they work with Granny May 3, how they do stuff in general, and, and, and also about their life and their career and, uh, and, and how they do stuff. Uh, my first guest is Nathan Mills. He is from Atlanta, Georgia in America, and I'm very pleased that he is here. Nathan is uh, 55 years old and basically just started as a professional uh, lighting guy at the age of 50, which is pretty cool. And that speaks into uh, it's never, let, never too late to start. You could uh, always start with uh, Grand MA3. It's never too late uh, to develop your own workflow and to, to learn from everywhere. So uh, let's say uh, welcome to Nathan, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. Let me just take let me just take a second to thank you for doing this, and not just this, but the twenty seven before this, and the and all the effort and everything it takes to do this. Because if if people don't understand what it takes to do this, it takes a lot to do this. It does. And, and thank you so much for that, because I mean th this is my lifeline to knowledge. From day one, from from because I've been on three from day one, and it's been rough. <laughs> the, you know, the software really wasn't there, but that's okay because I didn't know any better at that time. I didn't know any better, and that was like, you know what? If I get on the ground floor on this, and if I if I learn it from the ground up, it can't hurt. And and since there's COVID and since everything is tied up, why not? You know, why not? Because I asked about people that that were into when two started and they're like yeah that was huge for me to be on the ground floor when two came in and no one liked it and everyone hated it and, and i you know i was talking with the developers and i was part of it so i feel like i'm part of it so <laughs> yeah. at a price but 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 it has a price it has a price but, but i think sometimes still uh, uh, people say the same thing about grand may 3 as they did about grand may 2 uh, back in the beginning it was too hard and it was uh, difficult to learn and it was unstable and and so, so, so this is kind of the the fun thing to get into because what is your experience with it? How does it work for you? Uh, do uh, do you experience any any major issues with it? At me at this point, no. I'm on uh, once one point six, I think one point four was big. But one point six to between one point six and one point eight, I was very comfortable. Now that was also the time I went from an on PC with a wing to a light. So once I got my grand and light, because running bits and pieces, so I have a computer running, which I have to take my my on my on PC and tie it into. And then I gotta take my fader wing and tie into that. And then I've got to tie this into that and that and that. And by the time I do that, and not being a PC person, I was chasing ghosts all the time. And I didn't know if it was the software or if it was the hardware or what or what it was. Plus, I didn't have a, a huge budget, so I wasn't buying the nicest of equipment. <laughs> so. so, but it's big, also big, a learning curve. Big, I mean, getting getting into all huge. this stuff and knowing all the all the options you have in the console is 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 humongous. Huge, like the 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 troubleshooting I can do and not understand how I know it. I'm like, I do not know how I knew where the problem was and what it would look like. But as soon as I got there, I was like, there it is. There's the problem right there. And I don't even know how I knew that. Now, the big thing that, that I have on my side is, this is gonna sound terrible, but was COVID. Because all these incredible people that, that have talent beyond talent weren't doing anything. And they were nope. looking for stuff to do and they started teaching. and. And if it was out there, I studied it. I, I took everything. I was online constantly learning from these people. I went into Patreon and said, hey, can I, can I, can I get on your Patreon? They're like, well, sure, I'll give you an hour of time here, an hour of time there, you know, once a week. How about that? Like, and I had these opportunities that were just, 
Mike. And that's that's not only uh, only a May. That's also other things as well. You used uh, to learn, or you used COVID to learn. Correct, correct. Because, for example, uh, we use ACT here in the states, um, and ACT opened up their learning, online learning, and I jumped on that. I was like, "What do you mean free? You're gonna you're gonna give us the online learning for free?" And and I jumped on that. I took two. I took. Um, i took everything. I took everything that they offered uh, to, to learn. And I'm not a big book person, so so it was difficult for me. It wasn't like I could just read it and know it. I really am a touch, uh, you know, hands on. I've got a touch it kind of guy. Um, that's why it's so huge. So so maybe that's console. maybe that's a good good uh, thing to 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 get into kind of your background. How how about what did you do before? Why did you get into lighting? Uh, in the first place, because I think I read somewhere that it's only five years ago that you that you really started uh, seriously. <laughs> and that's and that's not really a fair statement because I've loved and done lighting my entire life. It, I just couldn't make money at it, and I wasn't really trying to make money at it because I never realized it was accessible as a way to make a living and a way to to show your passion. So I would do festivals, parties, and whatever, do lighting for free. People always laughed at me for buying equipment and such, but I would I would mess around with it. I never had a real console. I made my own console out of, out of bits and pieces. And I just, uh, you know, nickel and dimed my way through. But I actually have a picture to... of your, I have a picture of your console right here. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, how you like that? <laughs> yeah, and could so, you just explain that for a second? <laughs> okay, so... So that console was a combination of, I was a, a metal fabricator at the time, so I built the aluminum frame for it and I just started sticking things in it. Now I didn't know about racks. I didn't know about, I didn't know anything about anything. I just was like a you, fabricator. You just did like, it. Hey, I just did it. I was like, hey, you know, I, actually if I stack this stuff up, it's got places I can screw stuff together. Let me stack this stuff up. And so the bottom, there's a Velcro piece and I had all my, my, Fog machines, controls down there. I had my controls for all my roller ball strobes and, and such on that. And, and and we gotta understand, this was before LEDs. This was actually a little bit before DMX even. This was the the, the pieces I was playing with were very simple, simple things, you know, with, with lamps that if you left on, they would burn out. I had two tackle boxes, one for your lamps. And the other for your fuses, because inevitably you were gonna, they were gonna burn up because you were gonna, and that was a big thing was having you had to have everything on timers, because everything was gonna burn up if you left it on. So you had to time things. So your show was based on, well, I can run this for this part, and then I can run it for that part. Now, yes, the more expensive fixtures had dealt with that better, but but, it, but buying really cheap stuff, you, that was always part of the part of the game plan. So that's that's where that, that console came about. And that, that board that you see there is actually a sound board. So it was just basically your your, your generic, you know, you picked a frequency and then you said, okay, I want you to control it, uh, the lumens by, by the, the sound intensity or, or the, the frequency. Yeah. And so that sort of developed a little bit of my style because my style is is very fluid. I don't, I'm not a flash and trash kind of guy. I'm more of a, I, I, I like, you know, I always say, I'm not really concerned if you see my lights. I just want you to feel them. And that's that's sort of my style, which is kind of weird because I uh, I do a lot of busking. <laughs> and uh, that's, just sort, that's, just sort of, that's just sort of the niche I've fallen into is this busking thing. Yeah. And, and I have to busk most shows that I do. I, get, I do do a lot of research on the front end, but I end up busking most of it. And um, to be to do that and keep the smooth is, is uh, a, a real art. And with three, I really feel like it's intuitive for me to be able to do that, especially with the uh, the phaser presets that they have and they, and they gave us in in, in a uh, one point eight. And if you're not using those, you've got to really you. There's so much you can do with those, so much. Yeah, and if you combine it with recipes, I mean, especially if you're touring. Uh, I don't know if you do any tours or anything, or is it no. is it uh, one gig here and one gig there? Because if you tour, the recipes is a game changer. It is brilliant. Uh, recipes, recipes is one of those things that 
years from now, it'll be, how did we live without this? How did, how did, yeah. how did we even operate? How, how did you have enough time to do anything? Recipes is just, it, 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 it takes all the work out of it. You just, <laughs> you just, you, 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 you know what you want, you know how you want it. And then everything has to obey you. Because yeah, yeah, I think you just you just you just uh, you move your workload from doing it on the gig to actually being being able to doing it uh, when you are sitting at home, and then Absolutely. when you arrive at the gig, it's much more easy to uh, to incorporate everything into the rig you have today. Uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely, and that's that's one thing where I think the the Grand MA three is really like across the board. Across the board, they have gone in and said. You're going to do this. You have to do this. But how can it be more efficient? How can it be more intuitive? How can it be more in line? And I'm just finding my workflow to be so smooth and so yeah. fluid that a lot of times I won't think about what I'm doing. I'm already thinking about the next thing because I can just let muscle reflex go. You know, yeah. Swipeies, just 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 swipeies alone. <laughs> yeah. When I saw them so. the first time, I was like, what? Now what is this? And then when I used it, I, I, I've, I find myself using it all the time, and I'm like, okay, maybe there's a point to it. That's a case of the first one's free, right? Yeah, exactly. I couldn't live without swipeies, couldn't live no. without swipeies now. No. But I mean, so, uh, we could. Uh, you have your console there in the background, and you have uh, yes. the PC running. So maybe we could uh, go in and have a look at uh, how you structure and how you set up your uh, your show file. Okay, so do you have, uh, let's see, what page do you have open? Do you have with the uh, faders on it? I have or the one with the faders on it, yeah. Okay, so so the, so let's start here. Yeah. And this is going to be my move, and that is, that's my move speed. And then this will be the effect speed, and then we move down to strobe speed. And so you see the icons that I have on those, right? They're white. Yeah. That's a generic. So if we go, if we go to to what I what I run, which are spots, which are pink, washes are a teal color, beams are blue, and then green and yellow is is like front wash and 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 uh, fill lights, keys, and such. And, th and that's going to be so consistent through your entire file. Consistent. This these are locked in. No matter what page I go yeah, right. to. Those will always these will be now the middle in here. This floats. This changes constantly. Yep. So I will. I will. I can run intensities here with my left hand and my right hand. I can run my speeds now. Also in that right hand, on this is on the light. I have program speed on the on the large fader, and I have a master on the large fader for bringing in and out the sequences. Yeah. So, so how I, how I would run a show is I would grab the spots, say, and then I would run them up with uh, either the, the wheel, the dimmer wheel, running them up, or I would just go jump full and then bring them in with this, with this fader. Yeah. As, as I go up and say, I grab the predefined phasers above, I would grab that. Now, when I grab that, my, my two large faders, you know, the, the program speed and the, the, the master, the program speed, which I keep on the left, I can either leave that right like it is. Now, let's say I grab the blue and orange. I grab that, I bring the intensity up, and it's just going to sit there blue. And until I come in with that program speed, it'll sit there blue. Now, I can either A, run it up a little bit and sneak that blue, that yellow in underneath the blue, to swap it or B, grab my MA tricks, do a center out or a center or an out in or whatever I want to do, run that program speed up a little bit and sneak it in. So I could take and make a sunrise. Now, what have I done? Yeah. I've grabbed a fixture, an intensity, the, com the combination color, we're up to three now, and then program speed, four touches, and I've made a sunrise. Yeah. And that's that. That well, let's say let's we have to put a uh, uh, position in there, say five. But in five touches, I've already I've already set, and I can do that with washes or whatever. I've already set that that look to get me started. 
Yeah. And so if the if the song does speed up or anything, I can very easily push that program speed up and start running, cycling through that phaser to keep up with the song and to, to make it look look correct. Yeah. So let's say you run I, everything. Yeah. Do you always run everything in the programmer or do you use not programming? Do you have anything programmed into sequences and stuff like that? I have a lot of sequences. That's where this middle is coming in here. Yeah. Those, those are all sequences, and that'll be, say, movement or effects. And so see how it's uh, got a, 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 that paint color? So it sort of yeah. shows a purple here. But I know that's, my, I know that that's my, uh, my spots, and I can change them across. If they go to the bottom left, those are my pages. So I, I grab the spots page, or I grab the, the washes page, and I can go through those. So my middle changes, but my, my, my outside edges stay the same. So let's say I'm working in spots. Well, then I'm going to grab this spots and I've got my movers that I can do and use my move speed. I've got my effects. I've got bumps up top. And that, that palette is the only thing that really changes. I keep the other two banks of faders are pretty, are pretty, uh, my right and left hand can stay there and run all day. And, I, and if I grab it, I know what it is, and it's always going to be the same. The center is where that changes. And, of course, I've got six touchscreens around that I can do all kinds of things with. But that's, that's the <laughs> – I'm spoiled. I am very spoiled. So, yeah. so, um, so working in that, that, that is sort of how I operate. And to answer your question, yes, I run in the programmer way more than I should. I run in the programmer to where I – get people looking at me with wide eyes going, you, know, you live dangerously. <laughs> um, and, 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 it used, and yes, it used to be very dangerous. It used to be very dangerous. But since 1.8, since 1.8, this has been so stable for me to work this way. And I, yes, I will have, I will have sequences running in the back and all kinds of sequences running. Um, but but I do I do work a lot in the programmer. So if we're looking at this page, we see the top of the page here that says layout. Um, which let's see if we can really really if we look at it. Let me change up here. Let me change for a second to show you running page. Okay, so this is my running page. This would be the screen that would be just to the right of what we were looking at. Yeah. There's my layout page. So there's my fixtures. Now, if I need to get exact and jump into fixtures, these actually tie into the buttons I have on the bottom left underneath my, my, my groups. So, but for the most part, I sit here in this, and this is the house that I normally work in. This is, this is the layout. This is how it, how it is. So I don't have to change that much. If I was touring, this is, I probably just clone in on top of this. Do you ever do so, you ever change? I mean, do you ever ever say, okay, I need some different fixtures today. Uh, I need to clone something. I need to build my oh, recipes yes. again or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely, definitely. I have uh, quite a quite a few fixtures of my own that I bring in for different shows. I just did a show, uh, a, a show, a really nice show, it was televised or, or is being televised, and um, I brought in some of my fixtures because I have some some camera ready fixtures that that really really are great and I was just shocked at how well they cloned in and how well everything just 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 came together they really so how do you do I, that I is it just a matter of replacing uh, replacing fixtures or how, how do you how do you go with that workflow <clears throat> I did it where I just I just went in and I doubled say the spots and then I went to the spots and I I changed them to the fixture I was actually using and it kept enough and even though it was beam say, it kept enough information and kept everything to where, it, you know, I have to touch up, you know, positions and such. But but other than that, it 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 ran like a top. It ran. It just ran like you would expect it to. Yeah. Very simple, and that's and that's I guess the that would get the exchange on that. So I just changed the fixtures. I left all the information, but you can you can limit that information. You can say, well, I don't want you to take all that, you know, and limit, you yeah. know. What it's going to, what it's going to, how it's going to clone in too. Which I, I know that'll get better in, in, as we get further along in the development. But as of now, really nice, really nice. Now, and also, I have to, I have to go back to the fact I've been doing this for like five years, and I've been pretty much 
growing up on MA3. So I did I did Jans Vista for a while, but I wasn't really allowed to program on that. That was I was an intern and long story, but but once I got three, I jumped on three, I stayed with three. So I have a very limited knowledge. And if I can do what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, there's there's only there's only one way to 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 to, to justify that, and that is with, with teachers, with, with people yeah. who have gone and and gone out there and, and shared their knowledge. And I have run into people that are like, well, I, don't, I would never give up my show file. You can have my show file. Please take my show file. Please tell me what you think about it. Please, you know, you yeah. know that the show does not make, the show file does not make the show. I, I, I if someone tells you that, I mean, I'm, I'm probably harsh on people, but, but <laughs> this is, this is, I mean, for me, this is art. This is passion. And, and you can't just give somebody to, well, these are my special paint brushes and my special paints. If I give them to you, you'll paint a masterpiece. It's like, no, you won't. You will not. You either, you're either that kind of artist and, and you, and because what is our job here? What is our job? Are, are our jobs to push the button and turn it on off the lights? I mean, least, you know, coming from my perspective, I, I, fortunately, I'm not just a programmer. I'm not just an operator. I'm not just a, I have to cover a lot of roles. So what do I do? I take that relationship between the artist and the fans and the audience and I close that gap. I, I bring that relationship together. Now, what does that take? For me, it takes, I have to do a lot of research. I can't just go and say, oh, I think this song should be read. Well, in the videos or the concerts or whatever, that, that was always a green song and I don't know where you came up with red and no one's going to relate to it. And, you know, because it's not my, it's not my song. It's not my material. It's not my, I'm, I, I have an opportunity to, to, to be part of it, but by no means can I step on any toes and say, well, I think it should be this way or that way. You know, these artists have, have, you know, this is their art and, and you have to be very, very careful. So yes, you are an artist working with artists, but, but your art has to be not invisible, but delicate. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, speaking speaking of show files and speaking of <laughs> getting to know stuff, and I mean, this is this is speaking well, very well into what I'm trying to do here because I'm trying to like spread the knowledge and share information. That is all what this channel is about. Because I, wow. as I've said in many of my videos, I don't know anything about this uh, uh, compared to many other people. Uh, so what I want to be is inspired. I want to see how you do it. I want to see how someone else do it. And if we can all see different workflows, I think that's going to make us better as programmers because then you can take so oh that was clever you you will take that into your own show file and 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 do it your way. I think that's 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 the whole point of this. Absolutely, and and and, and trust me, when I when I turn on my console and I start bringing up lights, you're with me. Because you showed me that. You taught me that. And it's, and it's kind of strange because I'll have an issue or a problem or, you know, what if I could do that? And then you'll come out with something and I'm like, how did you know I needed that? <laughs> and, and, it's, and, and I'm just I'm just almost like, all right, let me guess. <laughs> I, almost, I always want to take Vegas bets because what you're delivering is the right information at the right time in the right way. Uh, I usually, I have a hard time absorbing the information without going through it multiple times, but with you and the way you've been delivering it and, and especially your style and your, your cadence, it's like one or two times. And I'm like, I've got that. I've got that. Okay. That makes sense. Whereas other, other times and, and trying to learn, I find myself six and seven times rewinding and going over and saying, what did I miss? What did I, Oh, I guess I, you know, and I just, there's a real fluidity with, with, with how you teach and, and how you're delivering the information and your, your openness with this, that, that really, at least for me, somebody who has you know difficulty with this, you know, I really absorb it quickly. So thank you so much. Once again, thank you. I don't you know. I don't know how many times I can say thank you, but but um, but yeah, you 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 know, you're not sharing information. You're 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 growing your knowledge, uh, you know, exponentially. Because like I say, what what you've given to me goes with me every time I go out. There. Every time I leave the my little studio here and I go out, I'm taking 
you know, you go with me. <laughs> That's how it is. Sorry, but but I, you were also one of, I think you were one of my earliest supporters because I remember your comments from, from way back uh, of my first video. So that is... Uh, that's really nice. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, no, that, no. You take care of those who take care of you. And thank you so much. Yes, early on, I was like, wow. Wow, this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, you know. You don't know you really need someone until you realize, wow, we really, I really need someone to help me with this. Yeah. I mean, ignorance is, ignorance is bliss, but it's a miserable, it's a miserable mess when you don't know what to do and how to do it. You, you, you know what you want to do, but it's a long Yeah, but that's to... also one of the things I think with, which we can help move or push in this uh, series, or tutorial series, or, or this podcast setup we have here is I want to take some of the danger out of it because sometimes people will look at uh, one of the very, very complex shows and they would say, oh, this is way too complex for me. So the whole point is you don't have to do all that stuff. You don't have to write a macro for everything. No. You can just turn it on, put a few presets on, and run it in the programmer. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy, yeah. as long as you get the re desired result. One of my one of my favorite shows, I love telling the story. I usually cry when I tell it, so I don't, I don't go in details. <laughs> but, uh, one of my favorite shows was, it was a show, it was Valentine's Day. People have been trying to go see her perform for almost like two years and, and and it finally happened it happened in atlanta people were flying in from everywhere and and um she has this song and the song's about being alone and 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 abused and, and whatever and she's got this song called you know leave the light on and all i did in this entire song was we had a spots operator she's on the stage black piano candles everywhere and just a single spot on her She's pouring her heart out, telling about how she's, you know, all this happens to her and, you know, but, but it's okay if she leaves later on. And all I do is at this right moment, at the end of the song, I turn up, I just turn up my, uh, my blinders just a touch. And I'd already pre-built this. So I, it will come on with, a, with, with, with the right, with the right intensity. And when it goes off, it'll go off at the same speed as blowing out a candle. You know, <laughs> it's not <laughs> too much about things, but, but it does matter. It will matter. And yeah. so she goes and, and, and she's, she's, she's just going at this song and just taking it all in and everything. And I've hit those lights and they, and they come up and she looks out into the audience and you could have heard a pin drop because she realized this song that she had been singing for years and years and years and years about, you know, all this weight on her, everyone in that entire audience felt that and was with yeah. her. And it wasn't her song anymore. It was everyone's song. And they all took the weight together. And right at the right moment, it went black. And you could have heard a pin drop. You know, I've heard, you know, suck the air out of the room. That was one of those moments that was so powerful that, that, that it was indescribable. And all it was, was two clicks of a rotary knob and off. And that, for the whole song. Plus, plus my spots off was perfect, but it doesn't take all that much to do great things. It doesn't. No, I mean sometimes it's it's it's. I would say it's like a drug, because when you when you when you hit that moment, which happens once in a while, the audience go crazy or some magic is happening <laughs> on stage. I mean, it's. Um, I think it's it's it's, addic it's addictive in some way. It it is because you feel like you're part of something that's that's way bigger than you ever thought you could be part of. Yeah. But it is, it, it is that, like I would say, that's that fine line between, you know, you are have that relationship between the artist and the fan that you don't want anyone to know you were there. Like you want to no. sneak in, you want to sneak out, but sometimes you do stuff. It's like, well, trust me, you needed me for that. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was, you do get that every once in a while, but, but I tell you what, I tell you what, this is such a strange industry to be in this, 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 to sit in the chair, running a console for these shows. I, I don't, I mean, I'm an adrenaline junkie at heart. You know, I've, I've, I've gone over many cliffs and, and out of many planes, but, but, but the rush and the feeling you get when, when you get something right, when, when, when you feel that emotion going through, when that, when that artist is able to just 
say exactly what they say the way they want it and it to be received exactly the way they want it to be received when you get to do that that is that is that is crazy 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 that is magic (laughs) yeah it, 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 it but but it's so difficult though it's so difficult because we have so many toys now that do so many amazing things but a lot of the shows i'll do are, are older shows when there was only park hands yeah. so they had the red light that turned on and off or the green light that turned on and off or the what you know now you got movers and strobes and lasers and it's like well you know I, I know you remember it this way but we're gonna we're gonna make it a little a little flashier for you modernize then the, that comes down to programming style and, and choices as a designer yes. doesn't it yeah it does, it, it does. And, it, and it's also, you have to have that relationship with your artist. Now, I'm, I'm not, like I said, once again, five years, I've not toured, I've not gone out there and, and done the things that, that a lot of people would consider normal in your career. But, and and I, I, I don't know if some of that stuff, I don't know if I could do. Like like some of the stuff, like, like these uh, these tours and such, I mean, that's a lot to ask of somebody to go on tour and, and, and night after night and go in these venues and, and make the same look and, and have the same success against all odds and no time and, and very little resources. And yet they do it. I mean, you know, I have it cushy. <laughs> but do you know why, why, why we do that? That's because it's really fun. <laughs> you know, it is. <laughs> It is, and I, I and I, and I, you know, I've gone out and I've done stuff that, that, that was really tough and difficult. But, but it, I understand why there's not that many of us. But then again, it's such a small world. We all know each other. We all interact with each other. I see the same yeah. people over and over. You know, when you go to LDI, you're like, wait a minute, I know you. Wait, a minute. I, you know, and you go to these <laughs> these these conferences and such, and. It's a small world we work we work in. It's, it's it is. We are. We might. Some of us might be competitors, but we are also colleagues. Very much so. Very much so. And I don't think that there's any real need for competition when it right. comes to operating and programming and such. I mean, the more knowledge, the better. It, it, it's beneficial for everybody. You know that it will. Now, maybe if you if you if your niche is to to do certain things a certain way, hold on to that. But for me. I'll, I'll help anybody at any time. I just had someone that hadn't really run three grab my file and run a show with it. And he, he enjoyed it. He said that yeah. it made a lot of sense to him. He said, man, I'm going to have to get on three. This makes a lot of sense. So um, I must be doing something sort of right. Yeah. But, where, where did he come from? Another console or? Two. He came from two, but he also run Able. He started on Able doing yeah. theater and such. And so that's, that's sort of my Achilles heel is I've never really done theater. And, and what you learn from theater is is <laughs> it's, it's different. Just, <laughs> it's 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 just it's a it's another level. Like when you do theater yeah. and you and you and you look and think and know that that is a media. It, it is just you know it's impressive. It's impressive. Much what, more what they consider. much more detailed and much more feel to it and. It's it's important that your cue is not two, but it's two point two second fade time. I mean, that's that's usually what <laughs> and, you are struggling with. Oh, and you have to repeat it, and then then you have to repeat it throughout history. It's it's like you can't be like, well, I remember the, I'll do it like I did last time. So it has to be exactly like you did last time, and it has to be yeah. perfect, beyond perfect. I just wow, there's some, there's some people out there that are just next level that don't get the credit they deserve. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so cool. do you want to look at that um so looking at look going back to the to the grand ma3 here you yeah. see how i run the fixture sheet on the top and what yeah. i have on that is i have the fi- fixture sort fixture uh, sort on and uh, program only so all i'm going to see is what's in there running this is how i keep track of what's happening in the programmer and then below so that's that, similarly the, that's run, the uh, like the off menu you, you can offer there as well right below that just I have run, running playbooks now well i guess you could off out of there but or, or or stomp but that's sort of my that's what's running 
in the programmer. And then below that, the running playbacks is all my sequences running. Yeah. So when I'm looking, when I'm looking at this page, I say, okay, this is what's in the program. And this is like, what's in the bowl. These are the ingredients I'm mixing, but these are the cakes and pies and everything that I already baked below it. So I know if I kill something, that program is going to die. <laughs> if I take it yeah. out that I have to know that those spots are at a hundred and I take those out. If I don't have something running below, which I do, I'm, I'm going to go black and not like that. So yeah. it's kind of a weird for me. I have to not just see that, but very quickly decipher and know what, what that means. And without, without understanding that I would be in a lot of trouble. That's probably my Achilles heel is, or I think anyone who tried to do it sort of the way I do things, it would be hard. It'd be, you have, you have to know, why you built that sequence, what was in it and why it was, what it contains, because it could, your programmer could mess that up. It could, it could. But I think that's also one of the dangers of running in the programmer, which is what people would be nervous about. That is, if you suddenly off something and you, or you press clear, or uh, there's, a, there's a bit of safety, and that's not only about console stability when not running in the program, oh, sorry, when running with the, in the mm -hmm. programmer, because uh, you will not accidentally clear everything. Or you will not accidentally. So that I think that's also what they mean when they talk about safety. Correct. In 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 Correct. In, in using the programmer as a, as a show tool. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why that's why my exactly, and that's why my left hand will sit on um, uh, select fix because I because how yeah. I run the 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 um, let's go back to that real quick. To, so how I run that well, we're looking at um we're looking over here. So I run the bottom, the bottom row is for my pages of, of what I, what I want to work in. The above that I run select fixture. So let's say I want to grab my spots. I just hit that select fix. Then yeah. I can control the intensity. And then above that, if I need to lock it on and I don't want it to fall out of the programmer, I do have a sequence above that, that I can hit. And that that keeps my 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 spots at a hundred. So okay. even if I drop out, I my answer to take that. So so I do have a fail safe if I need it above there, and then and then so there you go. So that's that whole bank right there. Yeah. That, that that that's how I do that. And and with that, with just that left hand, I have a lot of control, a lot of like, well, I want this, that, and the other to happen, and you know, I'm I'm moving an inch or two, and I can make things happen. Yeah. So I mean, that's what we talked about before. That comes down to preference. How do you want to work? It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong in uh, in, no. in doing this programming. It's all up to you. No, but that that and it's weird. It's weird because that took a while to develop. It's it's to me it's so obvious now. Like wow, of course you would keep those faders over there. But when you come in and you don't know anything. You're like, wait, I could have a master on that. Oh, that's cool. You know, and, and, <laughs> but but at this point, I don't know how. And I and I I have seen other people operate very similarly. But I don't work with a lot of people to to go and look at their work and go, hey, yeah, I, I do that a lot, or I don't do that a lot. This is just sort of what I've developed, the way I've developed it with with, you know, online online learning. Yeah, and, that's and, and it's because there's no end goal. There's no there's no textbook way of doing it. It's all up to you, and that's one of the, the, the cool parts about Grand MA in general, Grand MA 1, 2, and 3, is that uh, you can do whatever you want, and you can structure it the way you want, and uh, that's fine, as long as you get the design. But also, well, there's five ways to do it. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> you can do anything, but there's five different ways to get to that end goal, which is, which is cool, but also a little crazy because sometimes you'll get into something and get lost or, or get in there and go, wait a minute, how did I end up here? I, I, I've always gone that way and then go, Oh, this is, this is actually a shortcut. I wish I'd have yeah. known about this before I was, I, you know, I, I got there and then I thought that was the way, but it really wasn't. It was the long way. So, and, and yeah. as the, the software develops, I've noticed that those shortcuts have happened more and more. But then speaking of that, what would you uh, what would you say to a beginner <laughs> saying, okay, I really want to start Grain MA3, what, uh, how should I do it? How should I learn this from the ground up? What should I focus on? What should I not focus on? That's a tough one. I, 
are they already programming or they already have an understanding or, or are they well that depends <laughs> that depends you never know because it's a yeah. it's a it's a thing of say okay i think a lot of people are scared of of touching a great oh, oh, especially from coming from oh. something else because it looks really complex oh, and it can be really complex but it doesn't have to be complex it does not i mean when you get you know when i got this console it was it was there was <laughs> It was nothing. It was just <laughs> blank screens. <laughs> yeah. So everything in there, everything in there was was built uh, from yeah. scratch. Other than when when they uh, gave us uh, the download, uh, you know, predefined phasers and such. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, you build it from scratch. But what I would, what I would recommend is, and this this is pretty much across the board though, make it personal. Have a personal relationship with your fixtures. Have a personal relationship with your console. Make it personal. Don't just try to make as many friends as you can. Don't just try to, well, look at all I can do. Make good quality, high quality friends and have real relationships yeah. with your fixtures and, and understand what they do and why they do it and what they like to do and what they don't like to do and who likes to play together not, you know, and not. And how do you do that? Get a fixture. Put it in, you know, and, th and this, and you can download this software for free. Yeah. Just go and download it and play with it and go in there and pick a fixture and then open your smart window. That's, you have to have your smart window and start, <laughs> you know, and, and cause it comes with a visualizer. Three comes yeah. with a visualizer. I mean, if you, if you've gone out to say, Hey, well, how much is capture and how much is the, you know, <laughs> it comes with a visualizer. Like, like if you, it's all there. It's crazy. It's like three is giving you so much for free that, you know, the hardware sounds expensive, but it's really not. I mean, it's, it's such a, it's a, such a easy way to get in. Um, and I guess that's sort of the, the point of it all is, 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 you know, you give, you know, you give the first one free and then it's like, Oh, you're addicted. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> why don't you get a console? Why don't you get that? But, but, but it's on, it's free. It's online. You download it and you start playing with it. And once you realize and because you, you have to go online and, and watch these tutorials on, on how things work. And it doesn't take very many for you to go, oh, intensity, that's an attribute. Yeah. And position's an attribute. And, and you start the language. And once you start with the language, everything else falls into place. And before you know it, you're speaking a whole new language that you were like, I, I didn't realize I didn't realize I knew how to speak this language. But, but it will happen. But it does take time. And it does take effort and it does take passion if you want to progress quickly. You, you can't Yeah, be, but it's also, I mean, um, I think the, the, the programming language is relatively simple in, in many aspects because you store a queue or in a sequence or number one. And I mean, the, the, the whole syntax is, is actually like human. Yes, it is. It, it's, it, you know, one plus one equals two. Of course, of course, it equals to you know, yeah. and, and these are and these and these are just fancy calculators. You know, they just process yeah. numbers. That's all they do. And this is, you know, like an Avo or a, you know a Hog or whatever. I mean, that's all they do. They just process numbers. Some you know have a little bit of different interface or something. But once you understand the basics of of how they work, they all work basically the same. So it's not like well, I learned this, so I you know I can only do this or I can only do that. I was on. Um, was I on the other day? I was on a console the other day and I was like, this actually makes sense. This makes sense in a different way, but this, this, you know, this does make sense. It's not like, oh, I, I can only do this now, or I can only do that. Once you learn the basics of programming, you got it. You, you, yeah. you, you can, you can do it. You just have to find out where you are, which button does you are what. pushing DMX addresses up and down. That's all you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once, yeah, yeah. Once you once you understand that, once you understand the numbers, it's like, well, that's not very many numbers. <laughs> it's like that's not really. Yeah, but you could say any 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 console can can basically get the same result. It's just a matter of how. Yes, yes. So so you know, I don't want to be like, oh, you know, three, you know, MA three is the you know be all end all of all consoles ever and whatever. You know, they'll get better and they'll change and you know, I mean, I've I've touched some consoles that I was like, wow. This is powerful. Wow, yeah. this gives you a lot of, you know, and, and but for me, this it just it's it's really worked well for me. But to to, to really sum that up is get download it, start playing with it, watch the tutorials. Don't just try to to try to figure it out on your own because you'll go in circles forever. 
watch some tutorials. And once you start getting those mechanics together, it's like, it makes sense. It may, and if it doesn't yeah. make sense, it doesn't make sense. I mean, then it might not be, it might not be for you, but if it, if you, if you, you know, if you start getting that personal relationship with it and the learning curve is X, I mean, it's like, it's, I mean, that's the craziest thing too, is the more I learn, the more I understand, the more I comprehend and I almost start looking for the answers, not knowing that I need that answer, but it's like, it's gotta be there. And I find it, I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's, that's like the logical next wow. step. Yes, yes. And, and yeah. that's, where, that's where learning from people who have been there and done that and can give you that, that this is the stepping stones. You'll take that next step with confidence. You'll take that next step and, yeah. and you know, it might, it, you might, you might be a little shaky, but once you, once you step there, you it's yours. Once you have that knowledge, it is yours to keep. Yeah. Is there anything in and, the console you, you, you think about, if you think back today from when you started it, is there anything where you think, okay, I wish I would have known this sooner? Is this function or something that really clicked for you? I don't know where even to begin with that. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, really, I mean, I, I would say, wow, that's, that is, that is really a huge subject because I'm coming in from all different angles of that. Uh, cause, cause I'm learning on software that's being developed as I'm, you know, as we're moving yeah. forward, it, it's, it's, it's growing underneath us. But I would say probably one of the biggest things that, that I've learned late was how, how to program sequences that make sense that 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 have a flow to them to where you can go and modify them to where you can go and adjust them that aren't just on offs like oh i've turned that yeah. on i'm done i can't do anything with it and then once you start to learn about well i have fade time well i have you know and, and once you start to learn that it goes from paint by numbers to watercolors and that's yeah. something I wish I, I would have picked up on or learned earlier on that, that it wasn't just an on off. It, there was, it was no, it's, let's, you know, there's all these different things you can, uh, you can, you can do to control that. Yeah. What am I doing? So that was, well, that's really cool. Answer. Yeah. I think that's a very good answer and, and maybe, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should round it up, but I think I think this has been a great conversation because one thing is the programming, but another thing is definitely the whole talk about the concept behind it and the experience behind it and 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 the the, the way you do it on, on a daily basis. Yeah, and and so I I worked corporate. I worked I worked really hard to get to a situation where I could do lighting. I always knew I wanted to do it. I always it was always a passion. But I hit 50. Yeah. And I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. And this is and this is I'm gonna put everything into it. And now I'm 55 and I'm I'm sitting here with surrounded by this and, and surrounded by people and and surrounded by knowledge. It's never too late. I mean, I'm not saying I'm old, but you know, I mean you would tell someone, you know, tell these young people while, you know, well, I, you know, I haven't done it. Like, I started when I was fifty. Yeah. You know, you 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 can you can do what you want. It is there for you. It's for the taking. It's for it's it's a matter of putting in the hours. Do. It's the hours. It's the hours and the yeah. passion. You can't just you can't just say, well, I'll, I'll read this now and again. Just make it a passion. If it really is a passion, you'll 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 be shocked because it because it was. I went into it going, okay, I'm here, and I'd like to be here in a year, here in five years, here. To, forget that. That, yeah. that, that that was out the window the first couple months. Like it was, like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's you know, I was you know, and it was just because they had opportunities there. Not every it's just, this is not for everybody, but yep. if you've got it, the passion, and and you and you really are <laughs> crazy enough to do it, you you can go so far so fast, so far. Yeah. Just you know, ha have respect for. For, for the artists have respect for, for what's gone into it to get us to this point. 
But yeah, if you were getting into it now, the shortcuts you have, the the opportunities you have, the teachers that are out there, it, it's it's mind numbing. It's mind numbing how 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 easy it was for me to get from point A to point B. And, and I can't thank everyone enough for that. It humbles That's me cool. every every day, every day <laughs> that that I uh, I know the people and have relationships with with the people I do, and know that they're they you know if I have a problem or have a question they're there, and yeah, it's 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 a, it's a beautiful little world we live in doing this yeah. life. <laughs> Suddenly, it's a smaller world because 20 years ago, that was different. 20 years ago, you were sitting alone with it or, or you didn't have the knowledge to seek. I mean, mm -hmm. I was just thinking, of course, you can watch YouTube videos, but you can't just, just watch YouTube videos regarding this. You actually have to do it. Mm -hmm. You have to try it. You have to, to, to work with it because otherwise you don't get the experience because even though you're sitting mm -hmm. at home and trying something out, that is adding to your experience as a programmer or seeking knowledge. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, you know, it, it was, it's funny because, and I knew this early on, I knew like, I'm going to be doing shows that in a month or two months, I'm going to look back and go, whoo, I was either crazy or had some serious balls to pull that off to go and do a show like that. But that's constant. That's constant. You're going to yeah. not be over your head, but you are going to find yourself in situations that takes a lot of guts and, yeah. and, 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 it takes a certain person because the show's going to go on. You're going to have issues. You're going to have problems. Things are going to come up. The artist is going to, you know, change their minds. The the, you know, the director is going to want something different. You know, I do a lot of things where I have a director in my ear and it's like, hmm, okay, <laughs> yeah, sure. I hope I have enough time to program. But if you can, if, if you have, can handle that, it's, it is so rewarding. So rewarding. There's a lot of yeah. psychology in it. There is, you, you know, you, yeah. You know, you have to you have to make friends. You know, people have yes. to love you at the end of the day. Even if you did everything yes. wrong, they still have to. You know, they still you still better respect everybody and treat everyone correct. Yeah, that's it's, true. Because it is it is tough. Yeah. Again, I want to thank you for uh, for being on uh, my channel since almost day one. I want to thank <laughs> you for taking the time to do this. I mean, this has been well, uh, really amazing. This has been really amazing. I yeah. really hope to uh, to see you again sometime. I think this has been a, a, a good session. This this is very strange for me to be sitting in the seat speaking with you, considering like you, you are why I'm here. <laughs> so thank yeah. you again. Thank you so much. Thank you so no much. No problem. Um, okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you.